Hello everyone. Today I will explain the another tutorial of uh, diamond tax prediction using all regression algorithm. Uh, into that, into that dataset, we can check here the what are the attributes is that we have to target variable is the price prediction. That is price is our dependent variable or target variable into we can check also uh, we can check the data set from here okay this is this is our data set you can check here the these are the attributes price carrot price carrot cut color clarity tab table x y and z into that we can find out the which which attributes are required for the prediction unwanted attributes like the, the table x y z these are these are unwanted data set we can uh, drop drop the directly column from our data set okay these these four attributes are very important for the calculation of the diamond price prediction okay then i will open the jupyter notebook and i will start the all algorithm i will import it here that is the all regressor regression algorithm that is linear regression knn knn regression okay okay into that first command is that the imported all the required library uh, for uh, for importing our data set that is import panda panda as pd import numpy as a np import cbound as a sns import matplotlib matplotlib dot pi plot as plt import warnings import pandas util testing as a tn okay i will run this code then I will upload the data set. Into that, I will create a new variable data equal to pd.read csv file. And I will pass the file path location from, from my drive. That is F drive, Python, ML, Python. Okay. Data set. Um, data set name is the diamond drive csv file. Okay. I will import the data set here. Using head command, we can display the our first. Uh, First row, first two rows, I will pass in the n, n equal to 2, that is number of rows equal to 2. You can check here the first parameter, first attribute of data set is the price, second carrot, then color, clarity, depth, table, x, y, z. Okay. Then I will describe the data set using data.describe command. You can check here the what is the mean, what is the count value, what is the standard deviation, what is the minimum value, what is the 20% of our data set, what is 50% of our data set. You can calculate the using the describe command. You can directly calculate the this value from our data set. Okay. Next command is okay, data dot is null dot sum. We can easily find out the what are the what how how much how many values null in our data set you can check easily data dot is null dot sum you can easily calculate you can easily total number of null values you can check here the price having no null value that is zero carrot also zero cut also zero color having six value these are the null values you can find out depth also having 14 values okay you can easily calculate the null values then I will uh, next command I will import it that is data dot info. This command is very useful for the getting the information from getting the overall information of our data set. You can check the number of column, uh, number of null values or data types. Okay, total number of column also we can find out easily. Number of entries you can find out easily from zero to five three nine three nine. Okay. You can check here the price having data type is integer, float having carrot, cut having no null values and object data type, color having also object data type, clarity having object data type. Okay, we can check or you can easily find out the data types. Next command is that drop. Okay, uh, four column is required for the prediction then uh, another column I will drop it from our data set equal to data equal to data dot draw depth table x y z okay as equal to zero you can easily drop the commands then 
question. What is the error? Axis equal to one is not standard. Then using this stuff, you can easily drop this command. Then another, I will check the column is uh, deleted or the column is dropped. Using data dot head, I will check the data set again. Price, caret, color, and clarity. Okay. Now we'll check. Then I will find out the data dot detects. I will uh, individually find out the column name having which data type. That is data dot detects. Using this command, you can easily find out the data type. Okay. Next command is that I will convert the price having the integer data type. I will convert the data type dot price as a type of float. Using as type command, you can easily change the data type. Okay, we can also convert the object into a float integer also. Okay, easily we can change the data type from uh, our data set. Next command is data dot. Uh, next command next. Uh, model that is we have to firstly explore the data analysis that is first we can explore the data set second is that data visualization we can visualize our data set using matlab with or sibon as a sns okay i will pass the plt dot figure plt is a, our object uh, that is matlab plot lead dot pi plot as a plt uh, instead of matlab plot lead we can use plt as a object plt dot figure size we can pass in the parameter that is 12 by 12 matrix size okay then i will use another method is the plt dot subplot we can here we can subplot divided subplot that is we can uh, divide it into two subplot that is subplot 221 we can pass any parameter here that is one two Okay, I will explore the distribution of caret width. Okay, then using histogram that is plt dot histogram passing the parameter of caret means equal to 20 and color equal to blue. We can pass any color like blue, red, yellow. Okay, then I will pass in the x label and x label is the caret width, y label is the frequency, and plt dot title is the distribution of diamond of caret width. Okay. And plt dot subplot second second plot is distribution of price value okay using histogram we can also again pass the parameter like price means equal to 20 or color equal to red here color equal to blue here color equal to red and uh, another another that is we can pass the x level and y level that is diamond price or frequency and again the pass the title diamond price distribution I will done then we can check the distribution of carrot weight or price distribution okay we can easily find out the what is the histogram will easily display the visualization of uh, carrot weight also price uh, price distribution okay then next command is a create a independent and dependent variable it is very important guys how to convert the dependent and in independent variable you know all that price is our dependent variable in short it, it is a target variable and another four variable that is carrot color clarity cut these are the independent variable which is required for the prediction okay then it's the most another important part is the level encoder converting the category categorical data into numeric form okay we can check here the cut having the categorical data color having the categorical data and clarity having also the categorical data okay we can check here also if just two seconds guys i will explain the another we can go go ahead using we can check also okay. 
we can check here. We can check here the price. Carrot is in a weight of diamond cut is the quality of the cut. That is the fair, good, very good, premium item. It is a categorical data. You can check the attributes having which six sub sub sets. Okay, color also having the diamond color is for J for worst and D for best. There are different do good, best, better. That is the form of categorical data set. We can also check the clarity is a measurement of how clear the diamond. That is I when is for the worst. And another S1 is the, that is one, two, uh, very good. Then was very, then it is a S for the bus. Okay. You can check here the, okay. These are the our four, four attributes are very important for the dividing the data set for the prediction. Then I will explain the another point that is level encoder. Okay. Level encoder means you know all the converting the categorical data into numeric form using level encoder. Okay, from SQL and pre-processing, import level encoder. Okay, I will create another variable L1 equal to level encoder. I will pass the method level encoder into L1 variable. Then create another variable level equal to L1 dot fit transfer data dot cut. Okay, L1 dot class. I will check the data set that is array, fair, good, okay, data type also uh, object. Then I will using fit transform, using fit transform, we can convert our data set into as a label encoder form, okay. Another, I will check the, create a new attribute name that is column name, label, cut label. We can check here the two, three, four, we can pass in the uh, numeric label encoder to the fair good item. Okay, that is one, two, three, four. Another, uh, another data, another command is that for the clarity, I will also convert into the label encoder form. Okay. We can also check the clarity level passing the two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Then next next method is also for the level encoder using the map method. It is very easy to understand, guys. Data dot color. We can check here the color having the D E F G H I J. Okay. J for the worst, D for the good. Okay. We can check the color of diamond using the map. We can set the label as a one, two, three, four. Okay. Easily we can set the here using the map. Okay. Then I will check the data dot color having the six null value. Above we we will find out the above color having the six null value. We can find out. Then we can check here the we can then huh then we can check here the four of eight, six having color having color table column having six null value. Then we will using the method equal to forward fill. We can fill any value. Then we can again check color having zero null value. Okay. Then data dot height. I will check color clarity, cut level, color clarity, color and cut. These are the sorry, cut is not cut level, clarity and color and carrot. These are the four independent variable. Then I will create a x data set, x data set and y data set. X data set equal to price. Then y data set equal to price cut clarity axis equal to one. Okay. Then training data set from SQLand dot model selection import train test split extend y train y test passing the train test split extend y train test size equal to zero point eight random size equal to, random set equal to four people. We can find out length of x train, length of y train, length of data set. Okay. Okay. Then I will go all the regression, regression algorithm. I will use also standard scalar for the fit, fit our data set into fit transfer method. Uh, using the standard scalar, we can get more accuracy for the calculation of price prediction. Okay. Then I will go.
linear regression from sklearn dark linear model import linear regression linear regression equal to linear regression passing the parameter of x and y then predict equal to linear regression this is our test then we can calculate the accuracy score of linear regression model from sklearn dot matrix import r2 square for the calculation of calculation of score of that prediction you can check here the prediction is the 87.76 percent okay then another regression algorithm is a decision tree regression algorithm easily you can check here they easily import the import the algorithm from scale and dot tree import decision tree regressor regressor equal to decision tree regressor regressor dot fit transforming the parameter x and y time predict equal regression x test okay also we can calculate the accuracy of decision score decision tree regression okay from scale learn dot matrix import r2 square then create another variable dpr equal to r2 square passing y test and predict one equal to 100 then we can check the accuracy of decision tree that is 97.15 random forest regression and other algorithm is a random forest algorithm from scale and dot ensemble input random forest regressor rf equal to random forest regressor passing the n estimator is a 50 rf dot fit passing x train and y train data set we can predict the x test then we can calculate the accuracy score of using the random forest algorithm check from sql and dot matrix import r2 square rf r equal to r2 square passing the parameter y test and predict into two okay we can check here the 97.7734 is the our accuracy okay we can also use another algorithm is it k-neighbors knn that is k-neighbors classic uh, regressor sorry okay from sklearn dot neighbors import k neighbors regressor k n equal to k neighbors regressor passing the n neighbors equal to 5 k n dot fit passing x train y train predict 3 equal to k n dot predict x test okay accuracy score of k n algorithm is from sklearn dot matrix import r2 square we can calculate the accuracy of k n regressor algorithm is that 97.449 lasso regression regression and uh, ridge regression is the another uh, is the sub part of linear regression it is for the overfitting and underfitting of the data set from scale learn dot linear model import lasso regression create another variable using a dot fit method passing the parameter x train and y train and predict the predict the testing data set okay using that accuracy score we calculate the accuracy score of a lasso algorithm print lasso we can check here the 87.76 is the accuracy of that our model ridge regressor from sql and dot mod uh, linear model import reach create another variable that is read then uh, passing uh, dot fit method we can passing the training data set and uh, using predict method we can uh, testing our data set we can check also the accuracy score of this algorithm that is importing the r2 square method from sql and dot matrix we can calculate the accuracy score and print here that we can check here the 87.76 there is a minor difference into that lasso and this algorithm we can check here the last digit of this method we can check the accuracy score from 533 and 518 okay these are the similar to the linear linear regression algorithm. So there is a minor changes into that temporary result into that perfect result. Okay. Last algorithm is a SVR algorithm from SQL and dot SVM import SVR. Okay, support factor regression algorithm. SVR equal to SVR dot fit extend y trade predict five. We can check the we can calculate predict the X testing our data set. Then accuracy score of SVR algorithm. SVR score using score method. Print score of SVR score that is 48.37. It is the lowest score. It is a that is in instead of you can check here the 
if we are having very low accuracy that is it is the worst algorithm for this diamond prediction overall accuracy score we can check the overall accuracy score of linear regression algorithm having 87.73 decision tree having 97.15 random forest classifier having 97.77 knn regression having 97.49 a result linear model having 87.76 loss of linear model having 87.76 and support factor regression having 48.37 okay conclusion that so he here we apply all regression algorithm one by one on available data set we get better accuracy in random forest classifier that is 97.78 okay when we apply random forest classifier algorithm on model for prediction we get better get better precision as compared to other algorithm i did apply the scaling method on our data set because when i use scaling data for algorithm that i am getting high accuracy as compared to the normal one okay that is the prediction part i will create another method that is i will create another function or another method that is using the prediction you can check here that i will get, uh, getting i will give the input from the user that is create another variable that is carrot cut color clarity okay input equal to enter the value of carrot then input enter the value of cut clarity equal to enter the value of clarity and color equal to enter the value of color using price create another variable price and rf is a random forest variable using rf i will call the predict method of passing this parameter cut carrot cut clarity color and then we can check the approximately price of di diamond is we can print here okay prd i will call another variable uh, using this method i will call prediction method and we can check here okay we can check 0.2 sorry sorry i will run another okay we can check here the our prediction part we can take a give a uh, input from the user that a carrot carrot value cut value clarity and color value we can check here i will pass the parameter that is cut value we can take into the floating into float into float value that is 0.83 0.83 enter then i will pass the cut value uh, that is 2 clarity value that is 3 and color value is also 2 we can check here the price is that 0.368 we can also here okay that's it get we can calculate the approximately price of that diamond price of the diamond okay 0.3 that is cut value is 2 clarity value is 3 and color value is you can check here the 3.685 in a usa dollar okay that's it guide using all the regression algorithm we can find out the which algorithm is having better accuracy for the prediction that is random forest gives the 97.78 uh, okay thank you so much for the guide bye bye